All right, let's talk about Josh Allen of the Buffalo Bills, who, I mean, you know, things went very well for the Buffalo Bills. Unfortunately for Tua, he had his uh, injury, uh, sucks for him, and, you know, hopefully he's okay, but... uh, As for the Buffalo Bills, uh, you know, things went very well for them. And I want to talk about Josh Allen in particular. And, you know, I thought he had a good game in this one. He didn't have to do a lot, but I I did think he still played well. So, yeah, let's just get into it. Let's start off with this play. It's going to be a big play. Fourth and three. It's a tie game at this point. And the Dolphins are going to be playing man coverage across the board. And so the Bills are ready for this. They This is kind of something that sometimes happens when you feel like you have the coaching staff's number a little bit. The defensive coaching staff's number. You see the concept the Bills are running. This is essentially a pick play or a rub route, whatever you want to call it. Um, which is, you know, usually you do this against man coverage. So that's kind of why I say maybe they have the coaching staff's number a little bit. They just have an idea this is what they like to run on fourth down or on third and shorts and are using it to their benefit. You see when this play begins, one thing I really liked about this play, to be honest, was James Cook was starting off this play lined up to the offense's right. And what that does is... It just gives you further to have to run if you're the defensive player and can be confusing if it is zone coverage, figuring out where you have to go. Here it's man, so that part doesn't factor in, but just it's more room you have to cover. You see that Allen is going to have to get it over uh, the defensive lineman in front of him. Although I want to take your attention over to the player that is covering James Cook on this one. I got to be honest. So the way that you typically differentiate a pick play versus a legal play is did the receiver make an effort to run around? And it's kind of sometimes a bit of acting because sometimes all you're doing is trying to run a pick play, but you have to pretend as though you're running a route. Watch what this receiver does here. I think I, I think that I mean he did a great job after making the contact, turning his head around, doing the best he could to sell it. I, I would have thrown the flag on that one. I would have. But hey, uh, honestly, it's not the worst thing to do that because if that happens and you get called, well, it doesn't mean that you lose the play. It just means that it's a fourth down and 13 now and you can kick a field goal. So these are ty- types of times when it's kind of worth it to be a bit more aggressive on those types of plays because if it works, you get a touchdown. If it fails, then whatever, you still get a field goal. But also, good job by Josh Allen being able to flip it over. I mean, it wasn't Josh Allen's toughest throw, but still, you know, again, these are the plays you expect him to make. This drive was really impressive. I mean, still a close game at this point. It's a 10-7 to situation. You have a receiver who's running a deep shot that's going to go more over the middle. You see when Allen takes a snap, it's it's zone coverage that the Dolphins are in. And you see right here, there's a couple of Dolphins players on either side of this receiver Allen's throwing to. This is not a wide open window whatsoever. But again, with Josh Allen, you just expect him to make these. And as you see, that's what he does. And I mean, you know, I kind of think Josh Allen doesn't get enough credit for how good of a game manager he is. We all talk about the incredible playmaking stuff, but when he just has to you know, hit the layups, or in this case, you know, hit a triple, I don't know what you would call it, but make a difficult play, but uh, more of a game manager type, he can still do these consistently, and he really doesn't get a lot of credit for that, everyone just talks about the big arm, but you know, the big arm actually often comes into play on plays like this more than the deep shots, because you have to get it there quickly, you you know, deep shots are more about accuracy and timing, these are more about timing, but also getting it there in a hurry before the gap closes, and that's exactly what he did. But then he can also do this. I mean, again, the playmaking is still what he's known for. That still is what makes him special as much as I think he should get more credit for the, uh, you know, being able to hit the layups and stuff. This is a zone coverage concept, and it's a third down and 12. So, you know, getting a field goal here would be nice. You'd certainly take that if you're a Bills fan, but you want more. I mean, going up six points, you'd like to be up two scores if you can make it happen. But can you make it happen? Well, when this play begins, you're going to notice a couple of things. First, you see that uh, Jalen Phillips, the edge rusher for Miami, has fallen down, which is just something you can't do if you're going up against the Bills. And nothing's really open downfield for the Bills, but that's okay because Josh Allen, when he sees this, he's going to turn what would typically be a a two-and-a-half second play into a seven-second play. Watch him scramble out, and now, you know, it's just way more time for someone to find a way to get open, and that's exactly what happens. But what's even crazier is this receiver's cutting more towards the middle of the field. These guys know Josh Allen can throw over the middle of the field even if he's rushing towards the top of the screen. They know his arm strength on plays like this. So watch this beautiful throw, aren't quite able to get a touchdown there, and like, you know, poor Jalen Ramsey has got to be sitting here a little bit, like, what else am I supposed to do? I'm covering for this long, and then, you know, you guys, there's still enough time uh, for someone to get open, it, it just, and there was no help there, too, I mean, it's just, it's it's crazy. 
I think this next play really goes to show just how well he sees the field, I think, where what's going to happen is it's a zone coverage concept, and really those two routes going more towards the offense's right are the key ones to look at right here. It's a, a third down and 7-2, that's worth mentioning. That's kind of why they're throwing it, because it's a 21-point lead here late in the fourth, or I guess early in the fourth quarter, but in the fourth quarter. But anyways, watch how when Allen takes the snap, you're going to see right here, look at where he's looking at. I think that's kind of the key thing on this play. It's really going go to go to show how well he sees the field. Those two Miami players are covering over the middle of the field, right? And you see that Allen sees uh, those two players, and neither one of them is covering that guy, right? Allen knows he has a receiver running over there. I don't think, listen, maybe he sees things through a fisheye lens and he can see all of this. I doubt it. I doubt he can see the receiver who's lined up all the way over there. But this is kind of one of those things where there's this misconception that a no-look pass is like you genuinely are just blindly throwing it somewhere. Usually what you're doing is you're looking over here, you see the coverage, and you just know due to how many players there are that essentially no one can be covering outside the numbers towards the bottom of the screen. So watch how quickly he gets over and fires. It wasn't a no-look pass. He looked, but he essentially just looked just to double check and then threw it right there. There's no way he could have read it that quickly. It's just he saw the rest of the field that quickly, and that's what Allen's able to do. Again, these types of plays are kind of what makes him special in a way. It's, it's not just, you know, when people talk about playmaking, it's not just running outside the numbers and throwing down the field. Sometimes it is stuff like this of just seeing the field well and being able to know where to put the ball and where, you know, getting it over there quickly. So, yeah, I mean, again, like I said, I, I thought he played well in this game. I, I, it, it, I mean, it was pretty perfect, right? I don't really have many uh, critiques, many flaws. There was a, a missed throw or two in there. Again, you're going to always get those that's just playing in the NFL, uh, but not that many. And I thought that he was hitting on a lot of stuff. He was making things happen. And that's what you want to see from Josh Allen. Again, I, I think the story of this game is very much not uh, Josh Allen in this one. He was kind of what he typically what you typically expect him to be it was nice to see I think if you're a Bills fan that Josh Allen didn't have to do much because the concern going into this was like does Josh Allen have to do everything and the answer ended up being no but he still made the most out of his opportunities so it kind of worked, went pretty well for the Buffalo Bills that's what I think what do you think let me know in the comments below also I do have a movie channel if you like watching movies check that out the link is in the description but yeah those are my thoughts let me know yours in the comments below Always love hearing from y'all, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.